Justin Trudeau has been in office for just over 100 days now, but there's an even newer prime minister roaming around Parliament Hill this week, PJ Lackenpaul, a 19-year-old from Brampton, Ontario. Yesterday, he was made prime minister for the week. For the week? For the day? For the week. Lackenpaul is a cancer survivor, but when he was battling Hodgkin's lymphoma, he made a wish through the Make-A-Wish Foundation, and his dream was to be prime minister. And all this week, he's been getting a taste of what it's like to have that top job. He's been staying at the presidential suite at the Chateau Laurier. He got a security briefing and his own security detail. He sat in the prime minister's seat on the Challenger jet. I was never allowed up there when I was traveling with him. His face was put on cookies at a local Ottawa bakery. And he met with the governor general at Rideau Hall. He spent some time at the Supreme Court. That's cool. And of course, he met the prime minister. And he's testing out his chair there. Mm -hmm. So what did the new PM make of the job? And what did he learn about the inner workings of Ottawa? Joining me now, the right honorable for this weekend only, PJ Lackenpaul. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, you know, when I think of make of wish, uh, you know, kids who are sick, there are things that they want to do, go to Disney. Like, mm -hmm. That seems to be a big one. A shopping spree, mm -hmm. meet a princess. You thought, no, that's that's too boring. I, and I realize, you're, I realize you're 19, so you probably didn't want to go to Disney. Why did you want to be PM for a week or a day? Well, because um, I guess Parliament Hill is my Disneyland and, um, for a long time, I've had a really strong interest in uh, politics, mm -hmm. uh, history, and economics. And also, um, another uh, factor that played into making this wish is I wanted to do something really unique. Something that no one has ever done before and um, just to get someone that, or get an experience rather, that um, very, few, uh, very few people have had. And, 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 and so, how was it? Well, um, I've been blown away. Um, Make-A-Wish has constantly been exceeding, like, uh, what I've expected and um, even today actually uh, this tie that I'm wearing right now it was given to me by Justice Brown from the Supreme Court mm -hmm. and by the way he's a very nice man when I talked to him he sounded like uh, it sounded like I was or sorry I felt like I was talking to a friend rather and he was so humble and so he presented me with this tie which is actually only given to the justices of the Supreme Court um, and it even has a Supreme Court logo written right on it if you can see that yeah. SC yeah um, and he said that actually some of the justices in the Supreme Court don't even have this tie. So I was really honored and very grateful to receive this from him. So thank you very much if you're watching this, um, Justice Brown. No kidding. That's pretty amazing. You're going to have to frame that or something. I wouldn't wear it again. Uh, <laughs> what was it like to meet uh, Prime Minister Trudeau? Tell me what that exceeds. So you went into his office, yep, which was, I haven't been in there. Tell me what it's like. Well, um, it's... A lot bigger than uh, than what you saw, what you see on TV. Like I actually saw it when Peter Mansbridge sure. did his um, yeah. uh, his coverage of um, when Trudeau was getting sworn in. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was a lot bigger than I expected. He had his father's desk in it. Mm -hmm. And in terms of meeting Trudeau, uh, just the same thing with same thing like Justice Brown. And actually, this was this goes for everyone that I've met. Uh, all the politicians and um, uh, I guess. Uh, Dignitaries, yeah, yeah, or civil servants that yeah. work for the government. Yeah. Like all of them, have been very humble. They've all been like, um, it's. It felt like whenever I talked to them, it was like talking to friends, including Justin Trudeau. Um, when we talked, what'd you talk about? Um, well, we actually talked about. Uh, he gave me some pointers on debating, which included uh, like listening to your to the argument carefully, and he also talked about how you need to, um, like, you can be as passionate uh, as you want. You can. Be as loud as you want, but the thing is, is if you're not getting your point across to your audience, mm -hmm. and you're not appealing to your audience in any way, you're not going to get anywhere uh, with debating. Did you ask him anything about what it's like, the, like the pressures of being a PM, or did he talk to you about some of the things that are hard? No, actually, but I did talk to him about um, like his, I guess, uh, sleep schedule, and he says he does get a fair amount of sleep every night, and um, he. Well, his security detail and uh, various um, other people that I've met have been telling me that, you know what, he's very committed to his family, and I really respect him for that. Uh, given the job that he has, I, I would assume that that's not easy to do. Yeah, I, I would assume that as well. And he doesn't drink coffee, which, so I don't know how he's doing that job yeah. without coffee. Um, so you said you would like to be prime minister one day. Do, yes. uh, you've had this experience now. Do you still feel that way? Or do you feel like, whoa, this is too much work. I can't handle no, it. No, I'm ready to take it on. Um, <laughs> I've actually said this before, but you know what? I've I've been through cancer. Cancer is, um, I guess I could say it was hell. Cancer is really, it's just... Uh, I don't even know how, I don't even have the words to describe how bad it is. But you know what? Uh, if I was able to go through that, 
I know I can take on the job of being a politician and a prime minister. When were you diagnosed with cancer? I was diagnosed actually <clears throat> just before my 17th birthday in uh, 20, I believe it was 2012. Or no, no, not 2012, sorry, 2013. Mm -hmm. And um, it was in October, and my birthday's in December. So, um, yeah, so it was uh, almost two years now. And you're in remission. Or, sorry, it's been more than two years. Yeah, but you're in remission. That's the good news. Yes. And and how does it, when you got that news, how did you feel? Um, my, mom and I, well, my mom and I were both crying uh, as we walked out of Princess Margaret because it, uh, it was like a, a, a radiation uh, treatment. Mm-hmm. And that was just when my treatment ended and we were walking out, we were happy, we were crying. My mom called my dad right away. Um, they gave us some goodies at Princess Margaret uh, just to say, hey, you know what, you did it. And um, I felt like I won Lotto 649. <laughs> Um, okay, so so you're you're in school, you're in university. Yes, I am. You're studying. Mm -hmm. uh, how how are you going to get into politics? What, what what do you think is the path forward after meeting all these interesting people all week? Well, my path forward is uh, hopefully so. First of all, uh, finishing up my undergraduate, mm -hmm. uh, and for my undergraduate, I plan on pursuing history, and maybe taking a few uh, politics and economic courses as just as uh, some electives on the yeah. side. And then once that's done, I plan on pursuing law and I'm setting my sights at Osgoode Hall Law School at York University. So easy. Mm -hmm. I'm joking. It's not easy. No, it's not easy. No. Yeah. But I will, I will do my utmost to try to get there. And after that, maybe just practice law for a bit uh, and eventually start campaigning. Do you know what party you'd be aligned with? Uh, I've said this many times. It's classified. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Was there anything that you didn't learn that you want to know before you go home? Anything that no one told you? Um, actually, we've, I think we covered everything yeah. uh, throughout this, uh, uh, everything and, and more yeah. uh, throughout this entire what, experience. What seems to be the coolest part of, of, of being on part of this world? The entire wish. I can't say, I can't like uh, specify just maybe one part of it. Yeah. It's everything that I've experienced was all equally important. I mean, uh, the best analogy I can give is it's like comparing mom and dad. I mean, you can't you can't pick one over the other. It's <laughs> it's uh it's really it was awesome. How about how about TV interviews? TV interviews? Yeah, you like that? Yeah, I love TV interviews. Yeah, I was yeah. on my best behavior here with you. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see I see you on TV sometimes, and you get into pretty heated debates. I do. So yeah. I, I, this is me being this is my real nice self here. <laughs> yeah. PJ, what a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, it's maybe, been a pleasure meeting you. Maybe I'll see you back here on the hill. Yeah, All I right. hope so. Take care. That's Thank the you. right honorable PJ Lackenpaul. Thanks.